Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide or show buttons in continuous forms based on some value in each record. For example, the screenshot that you can see there, I'll only show the open buttons for customers from Florida. The rest of them will be hidden. Today's question comes from Micah in Titusville, Florida, one of my gold members. Micah says, I have a continuous form showing my customers. I have a particular form that needs to be filled out, but only if the customer is from Florida. Is there a way to show that button for just those customers? I can do it in a single form using the visible property, but if I try the same thing on a continuous form, it changes all of the buttons. Yes, Micah, you are correct. If you know a little bit of programming, you can make fields or buttons visible or not visible using their visible property and the on current event. In fact, I've got other videos to show you how to do that. But that trick doesn't work with continuous forms. So for that, we have to do a little trick using conditional formatting, a transparent button, and a text box that you can kind of make look like a button. Okay, let me show you. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free template you can grab from my website if you want to. You'll find a link down in the description below. Now, in one of my other videos, the on current event, I show you how you can use a little bit of code to show or hide a field based on its value. So, for example, if the customer is not active, you can hide the credit limit field. You'll find a link to that video down below in the links section. However, that trick doesn't work if you have a continuous form like this. If you if you hide a field or a button, all right, let's say you want to hide the first name field, if you hide that field, all of those will go away. So let's say you want to have this open customer button next to only customers from Florida. If you show or hide it using the technique I show in that video, if you show the 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 button, all of them will show. If you hide the button, all of them will hide. So you need some way of controlling each record and whether or not that button shows up for each record. The only way you can do something like that is with conditional formatting. That's the only way. And unfortunately, conditional formatting doesn't work with buttons. It only works with text boxes. So we're going to make a little text box that kind of looks like a button. We'll put it right over here. Then we'll use conditional formatting to show or hide it. So. Let's go into design view, close that, make this a little bit bigger. All right, let's put another text box right here. Just grab a text box, drop it here, delete that label that comes in with it. And I'm going to open up the properties. I'm going to set the name to um, open button. The control source is going to be equal, whatever you want it to be, open, or whatever you want the, the label caption to be for our fake button. Okay, so we're going to say we're going to open just the, you know, a form for the customers from Florida, for example. Okay. All right, and I'm going to take the tab stop. Where's the tab stop format? No, it's under other, I think. Yeah, tab stop. Set that to no, so you don't accidentally tab over to that guy. All right, now I'm going to make this smaller. Let me just shrink it down a little bit like that. Maybe change the font size. So it's, I don't know, nine point and center it. And let's make it so that it's, um, oh, I don't know. Let's go with uh, blue with uh, like that color background. So it kind of looks like a button. Now, unfortunately, you have to set the border style, the outline, to transparent. You can't have a border around it. I know there are some effects. Like if you come into here and you go to format, you can do... Um, you can do a special effect here like raised and that actually makes it look like a button. But the conditional formatting will only change the foreground and background colors. All right, so if you leave a border around it, you'll still see the empty border when you do this trick. Okay, so unfortunately, that's about as good as it's going to look. Let me show you what it's going to look like here. All right, close that. Do that. Let's save it. Close it. All right, open it back up again. It'll look like that. All right, so that's not, that's not too bad. Okay. All right, back to design view. Now, 
let's put a conditional format on for this guy. But before we do that, what are we going to do? We're going to set, we're going to say if this, if the state field is not Florida, then we're going to hide this guy. How are we going to hide it? Conditional formatting doesn't support that. We're going to set the foreground and background colors to whatever this detail section is. So find, go into the detail sections properties, find your background color. You have to have the same, you can't use alternating background colors, by the way. So just copy that. That's the, that's the color code. All right. Now we're going to go into the conditional formatting for this guy. Format, conditional formatting. Okay. Add a rule. And if you've never done conditional formatting before, I've got tutorials on that. I'll put links down below. Okay. Down here, change this to where expression is. What's the expression? If the state inside of square brackets, this is one of those places where it will put state inside of quotes if you don't put it, the square brackets on there yourself, even if you don't have spaces in your name. All right. If the state is not equal to Florida, then we're going to set a format down here. We're going to set the format. The background color and the foreground color, the same as the detail section. So come down to more colors and then paste that color code in here that you picked before. Hit OK. All right, do the same thing for the foreground color. More colors. Come over here, paste it in, hit OK. All right, so it'll look just like that. Yeah, all you get is bold, italics, underline, foreground color, background color, and, and enabled or not, which will just make it look like a big gray block. So you can't control the border, which kind of stinks, but oh well. All right, hit apply. Hit OK. Shrink that back up again. All right, save it. Close it. Now open up the customer list and look at that. OK, now there are a couple of exceptions. Notice the Florida ones show up with open. The non-Floridians don't. One thing we also have to take into consideration is null values. So we have to say if the state is not Florida or is null state. All right, so let's add that as a condition too. All right, click on that, go back into conditional formatting, edit this rule, say the state is not Florida or is null state, like that. Okay, if it's null or if it's not Florida, make it purple. Okay, close it, save changes, yes, open it back up again, there we go. Now we only see that button for the Floridians. Or whatever, you know, if you got a special form, whatever your, whatever your criteria happens to be. You can put whatever kind of conditional formatting rule in there that you want. And you can do multiple rules, too. If you got, like, four different forms, one for each state, that, that's fine, too. Okay? Now, how do we actually go about opening up the form we want to open? Well, we just put a button over the top of that and make it transparent. All right, so pick a command button right there. Drop it in here. Let's just say four operations, open form. Whatever the form is that you want to open, the customer F. Okay. Uh, we can find specific data and open up this particular customer. I cover this in a couple of different lessons too. All right. But this would be like the, the special Florida resident form you want to open. All right. The text is meaningless because we're going to make it transparent in a second. Next. And then finish. All right. There's my button. All right. So we're going to double click on this guy to open up its properties. Find the transparent property and set that to yes. Notice now all you see is the button outline. All right, make it surround that guy like so. Yeah, I mean, you can match it up directly if you want to. I don't. I like to leave it like overhang just a little bit so I can kind of see that it's still there. All right, shrink this stuff back up again. Save it. Close it. Open it back up again, and look at that, okay? Now, click on one of these guys, click, and it opens up your whatever form you want to. See, close that one, click on this guy, open it up, boom. All right, and that button only appears where that particular customer is from Florida because of our conditional formatting. Now, here's the downside. The button still exists in these other spots. So if the user clicks here, that form will open because there's a transparent button sitting there. It just doesn't show up because of our conditional formatting. All right, how do you prevent that from opening the form? I will cover that in the extended cut for the members. So in the extended cut, I'm going to show you how to use VBA to cancel that event. So if the person tries to click where there is no button, it just does nothing. All right, we need a couple lines of VB code to do that. Then we're going to change the rules a little bit. Instead of hiding the button if the person's not from Florida, we're going to make a customer extended table and form. 
basically additional information, maybe some other form that you want to fill out for each of your customers. We're going to then have the customer list form only show the button if they are missing that data. That way you know which customers you still have to contact to get this information, whatever it happens to be. Me, I'm collecting you know, their shoe size and their favorite band. Okay, whatever. Could be like Micah had a certain form they have to fill out, whatever your requirements are. So we'll make a, a second table. Then we'll make it so the customer list only shows that button if they're missing data in that form. So if that form hasn't been filled out yet, you'll see the button. Otherwise, it goes away because you've got the data. Okay? We'll make a modal extended customer form that you see right there. So that once it's open, you can't click off of it or go around it or, or do anything. You have to click on the close button. When you close that form, it requeries the form behind it and hides the button then because you've got the data. Okay? That's all covered in the extended cut, 20 minutes long. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, and I haven't checked, but I think I'm getting close to 200 of them now. So there's lots and lots of stuff. If you're not a member yet, you, you want to sign up. There's a, a hours and hours and hours worth of material for you. Gold members can download all of the databases that I build in these extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.